Leo, a very strange game ultimately with the, with the draw fair result there? Um, yeah, it had a bit of everything really, didn't it? Um, lots of really good intent. I think both teams, like it was, you could see, it was a big game, um, and both teams going at it. Um, you know, Stormers have a lot of experienced internationals in their team, so um, and it was a really good challenge for, particularly for some of our younger guys. Um, if you think you've some academy, a good few academy players sprinkled across the twenty three, so. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, like the, the first half, you know, the, the conditions were going to play a huge part. So, you know, we were playing into the wind in the first half and, um, you know, Stormers had plenty of territory and obviously the 10-0 lead. And then obviously the try is a bit of a sort of bit of a kick in the guts really for us uh, to go 17-0 down or the intercept try. Um, but we, we, we managed to build some decent pressure on them. Um, just before half time and Mikey Milne gets in so it was a more of a manageable gap um, then start the second half well get in for a good drive try and um, then there's a period there I think we're quite dominant play is quite a smart kicking game um, and we put the Stormers under a fair bit of pressure um, you know after going into the lead uh, whatever it was 22-17 at that stage a bit disappointed that we don't quite kick on um, but again Stormers have a very good team stacked with a lot of experience so they're always going to come back in some form. So, um, yeah, it's like sort of a mixed feeling, isn't it? You know, overall, it's it's great that we, we you know, we, we, I suppose we win the game three points to two, isn't it? Um, but, you know, it's, it's a draw ultimately, you know what I mean? So it, it's a bit of a mixed feeling, isn't it? Yeah. But we've got the job done to make sure you finish top of the log. And that's very satisfying because a lot of work goes in over the course of a season. You know the backroom team deliver the whole time. The squad of players that we use, the bulk of it, like, you know, the over the last recent se sequence of games, you know, we've we've used this this group of players, uh, minus a good chunk of internationals. So, um, yeah, it's pleasing to. So when the internationals come back in the next week, it's you know, top spot in the league has been guaranteed. So uh, that's positive overall. Um, but still, there's always a feeling of. You know, what if we'd done this better? And so th that's why there's plenty of learning in the game for us. Um, but, the but the positive, obviously, is you can you're controlling your own destiny essentially <coughs> now going to South Africa, knowing regardless of what happens, you'll still be top spot. Exactly, yeah. Like, and that, that's the thing, you know, like we, we finished top spot last year, I think we lost five games, so we were two games to go, and you know, we're still undefeated in the league. Like, that's it's a really good squad effort. Um, credits to the players, they've been outstanding all the way through, so um. <clears throat> and yeah, like in terms of you know, the, you know, South Africa will be a great experience for you know whoever goes down there. It always is, um, but yeah, it allows us to be able to manage things to a certain degree. And just a word then on down on the far side, there's a breakaway and it's an incredible cover attack from Kieran Trolley and Rob Russell comes in and gets a penalty and two minutes later you're up and score a try. Like it's a massive swing in the game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever seen like a loose head prop intercept. And then the team got it into the field nearly, um, but it was great, amazing scramble. Yeah, like from from the number of players <clears throat> to get back, make the tackle, make the next tackle, and get in on the poach. Then and you know, off the back of that, then you 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 with a penalty and you're able to clear your lines and build some pressure back on Stormers. So <clears throat> yeah, there was lots of moments like that in the game uh, from both teams. I think it's fair to say you know both teams scrambled incredibly well, um, and it was good. It was good two proper teams going at it. Um, conditions made life very difficult, but it was an exciting, exci very exciting game and had a bit of everything. The crowd, I thought, responded to both teams as well. Um, so yeah, no, it was, it was really good advert for the competition. I think overall. Yeah, uh, Leo, you, you sort of alluded to the uh, gut punch of the intercept try there. Um, the Storm has put you guys under a lot of pressure with that rush defence. Were you at any at any time were you concerned that th they were getting away with a bit of offsides? Um, it was some messy pictures out there for sure during the course of the game so yeah I'll have a look back as always um, <clears throat> like it's an aggressive defence you know with the conditions it makes it doubly difficult probably so you have aggressive defence plus the conditions make handling tricky anyway so <clears throat> yeah it's definitely it's a uh, it's challenge particularly in, I know we're in we should be in coming towards the end of spring but <clears throat> it feels like winter conditions out there today uh, 
Ah, so kind of as again, I haven't really looked back in any great detail. So, um, the team of four, you know, they have all the footage there to look at all these things. So, we'll go through the normal procedure after the game. Uh, Lachlan, I mean, you must be fairly happy with the way that you, you guys handled the conditions tonight. Uh, Storm was putting you guys in your 22 for the first half, and then you did the exact same to them and sort of even things out a bit there. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, like it. You know, maybe we got guilty just of you know forcing things a little bit. You know, when we're ten points behind, um, we had some opportunities in the twenty-two earlier in the uh, first half. <clears throat> but a credit stormers like they 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 hit hard. You know, some big men that flew into things. So <clears throat> as I said, for our young guys, like it's amazing experience for them. So to go through the game, um, disappointed not to come away with the win. Obviously, with a kick to win the game at the end and. Um, but yeah, like overall, as I said, we're, we're pleased with the overall outcome. Yeah, does it make it difficult coming into this particular time of the season, just after Six Nations? Obviously, a big game tonight with a relatively new, newer team, and now a big game next Saturday, Saturday week against Ulster selection. How does that go about? Do you make huge changes like for the, for the Ulster game? <coughs> um, yeah, well, we'll see how everyone pulls through. Um, you know the the main thing is you know it's almost like there's yeah you you've you've a very competitive group there so as I said yesterday like it's a it's a positive dilemma for us to have um, and yeah it means a lot to the players it means a lot to the players to be involved in the games um, it was great to see the response that, you know, that we got from the crowd um, and uh, you know we we'll watch Ulster to get on against uh, Bulls tomorrow night. Um, and yeah, like there's there's something very special about the Champions Cup, isn't there? Like a European competition. I know South African teams in there now. So with the Champions Cup, it's it's uh, the South African teams just add another layer to it, don't they? Um, because you can see the quality of teams that they have. <coughs> um, but yeah, no, we're down the Aviva next week, and um, yeah, I believe there's a few tickets still available. Um, but yeah, we just hope it's a great occasion, really. Um, and for our guys, it's just enjoying the week together. Um, you know, I said coming back together, it's as one group, um, and yeah, no, we're we're really excited about the challenge.